Hello, welcome to the Hypnosis Academy. Today I'm going to talk about your parts. Not your private parts, your secret parts. I'll see you on the other side. One of the courses that I'm going to be offering in the later on this year is what's called parts therapy. Okay? Parts therapy is about the way that we become fractured sometimes. I don't know if you've heard talk of what they called MK Ultra. It was a style of, of it still is, a style of um, programming people through trauma. Okay, and what happens is they use lots of different things, but one of the main things is to actually traumatize people so that they fracture, so a part of them fractures off, okay? And if you do it a lot, and you know, multiple trauma, then you get multiple fractures, okay? That's when you get these split personalities where people just can't control themselves at all, or they keep changing from one person to another. However, I'm not talking about MKUltra, I'm talking about parts therapy, because all of us, at some point, unless we're extremely lucky, suffer trauma and it's the trauma that that we suffer as children that really affects us okay so what happens what happens specifically when we when we have some kind of trauma as a child what happens is this as a child we believe that it's probably our fault when things happen to children because they're surrounded by these very big all-seeing, all-knowing, all-powerful people who they believe to be perfect and they've got no reason why not to think that. When something bad happens to them, the only thing that children can assume is that it must they must have done something for that to happen. It must be their fault. Okay? And that can be for any reason. They don't get the love from the parents that they want. The parents are abusive to them. Um, they, they, they're told that they're not worthy or they're not good enough or whatever. It really, you know, fill in the gap. But what happens is that little children, when these things happen to them, they have to make a decision. And typically that decision is, the question is, what have I got to do to make sure that this never happens again, okay? Now, imagine a five-year-old, a four-year-old, a three-year-old doing that level of thought process. What have I got to do to make sure this doesn't happen again? What happens is that these tiny little children create programs, they make decisions, and that decision could be, hey, somebody doesn't give me love, Somebody who's perfect won't give me love. That means that I'm not lovable. Yeah. Somebody won't give me approval. That's perfect. Therefore, I mustn't be worthy. Yeah. I mustn't be good enough. All right. Or um, somebody is beating me up. And therefore, to make sure that doesn't happen again, either I've got to become extremely passive or... I've got to change my personality so that they don't do that, okay? So these little thoughts go through children's heads and they make decisions. They create, they create programs. And those programs run for the rest of their lives. For the rest of their lives. And so you can imagine the crap programs that little children make. I mean, they are rubbish. They are rubbish. You know, I don't get love, therefore I'm not lovable. And, but what happens is that program then runs for the rest of their life unless they find it and change it. You have to overwrite programs, just like in a computer. You have to give a new program. So people who go through their life believing, started their life believing that they weren't lovable, every time that they get into a relationship and somebody starts to love them, they do something terrible to stop that because they're not lovable. So they can't allow somebody to love them. Yeah, Somebody who feels that they're not worthy, every time that something good happens to them, they will uh, destroy it. Yeah, They will sabotage it, self-sabotage. You've probably heard of that. And that's because 
they're not worthy of that. So you can't give them something good when they don't feel that they're worthy. They will reject it. And they'll also probably be very angry with you. People who don't feel worthy get angry when, when nice things happen to them or you do nice things to them because they don't deserve it. So what happens with parts is this. Very often, little children make a little part. They create a part. In, in this decision-making process, they'll say, well, I will make sure that nothing good happens to me because I'm not worthy. And in that moment is born a part. And the part's job is to make sure that nothing good happens to you. Yeah? And can you imagine what that kind of part does? So, for example, when I talk to people, when, we, when I'm doing parts therapy, and there are different ways of doing it, which I'm going to be describing in, in, in the, the course, there are different ways of doing it, the parts therapy. But basically, you are opening a dialogue with the part, okay? The part that's causing all the problems. We hear people talk about it all the time. You know, there's a part of me. How many times have you heard somebody say that? How many times have you said it? You know, there's a part of me that just doesn't want to do it. You know, and sometimes there are two parts. There's a part of me that wants to do it, and yet there's a part of me that really does want to do it. People are showing you them, yeah? These are real, parts are real. But the ones that we've created to stop us from doing something often are created at a childlike level. It's a very low level. And so what can happen is that uh, when you talk to these parts, they often, when you start, when you first open a dialogue, these parts are pretty tough and horrible and very cruel. And they often laugh at the, at the person, you know, you know, why you know so you ask them what what is what is your role what do you, what do you want to get for this person and often you'll hear things like um, I want them to suffer yeah I want them to feel bad about themselves this is very common and it frightens the life out of the, out of the client because they go what the part wants me to suffer and uh, you know I've had clients in tears when they've heard the first the first thing that their part tells them. It never frightens me. It never scares me because I expect, I know that that's, this is low level stuff. It's very low level stuff. But the job is to find out, to re-educate the part. That's all that you've got to do in parts therapy. You've got to re-educate it to let it know that actually, maybe it actually wants something a bit more than that, you know. It, it wants something at a much higher level. But until you show the part, the part doesn't know. And it will always make that person suffer. But there are two things to remember. One is that it's not forever. Because these parts, actually, when you get them on your side, you can get them working for you. And they're lovely. When you integrate them into you. The other thing is that you made all of the parts that are inside of you. You made them. Even the people who've had trauma and, and MK Ultra, they've made the parts. Nobody can make a part inside of you. You have to make it. And that's the great news. Because if you've made the part, then you can unmake it. If you've made the part do something, then you can make the part do something else. It's your part. It's you. It's part of you. It isn't separate. It's you. It's just this little bit that's kind of been fractured off. Okay. So that's the beauty of parts therapy. It is a beautiful process and it can really help to start making a person integrated. You've probably talked to people who give you so many mixed signals. Have you, have you had people like that? You, you know, they, they, they love you one moment, they hate you the next moment, they're angry with you then, they're, they're telling you. These are people who have loads of parts and each part is trying to make sure, you know the job of the part, you know the real job, just to make sure that you're safe. It, you made it to keep yourself safe. That's all. But it actually, at the end of doing exactly the opposite, they end up putting you in terrible situations and making your life hell <laughs> until you change them. So there you are. So if you're interested in parts, then probably you might be interested in the course. I haven't, I haven't even put a date for it yet. But anyway, you can, you can keep your eyes peeled. Make sure that you sign up 
to the website. You can add your email and then every time I post something, you'll see it. And also on my website as well, please subscribe and, and uh, ring the bell or whatever you've got to do to, to choose all. And that will help me to build the website as well because the more people that like it, the more that um, YouTube likes it. Okay, have a lovely day and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye and watch out for those parts. Listen out for them. They're all over. Thank you.